and I invite you to make your way back to your mat and just find a nice comfortable Shavasana. And I'll just move back and turn my music off. And so just settle in. Uh, I'll ring my bowl also to signal the beginning of our practice. Hope that wasn't too loud. <laughs> so just make yourself nice and comfortable on your mat when you arrive, perhaps taking a nice big cleansing breath in through your nose and out through your mouth as you settle into your mat, just letting go of what came before this moment and what will come after and just being in this present moment. And we can do that by using our five senses. So feeling how your body feels right now. So noticing where the back body touches the mat, feel yourself relax into the mat, knowing that you're fully supported, noticing perhaps the temperature in your room, maybe even the temperature of the body. Are you chilly as we begin or are you warm? So using the five senses and now turning to your breath. That's the another really great way that we can be in the present moment. So just begin to follow your breath. So following it all the way in on the inhalation, feeling the cool air on the inhale, and then noticing where the inhale changes to an exhale. See if you can notice that exact point where it changes over to an exhale, and then feel the temperature of the air of the breath on the exhale. Just make note of it. Just notice, does it feel a little bit warmer, warmed by your body? So we, let's just be with our breath for a little bit. So just see if you can really focus in and follow the breath all the way in and all the way out for a little bit. And if the mind starts to wander away from the breath, just notice that and allow the thoughts to be there because our mind wants to think, we want to think, and just allow the thoughts to float by on clouds, just allowing them to be there. And then return again to your breath, just following your breath all the way in and with each exhalation, just sink a little deeper, relax a little more. So for our class today, our focus or the theme is going to be on finding joy. So finding joy in the stillness of some of the poses that we do, finding joy in the small things in our lives. So perhaps bringing to mind some small thing that you're feeling joy from, even a cup of tea. <laughs> Just 
we can find joy if we slow down. So just bring to mind one thing that you feel joy for. And so we'll begin by floating our arms up overhead, just stretching out through our fingertips and down through our body and out through our toes. Take a nice big deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And just settle in and stretch out again, stretching out through your fingers, down the body and out through your toes again. Take another deep breath in and another nice long exhale out as you release and settle onto your mat. Take one more deep, like the biggest breath you've taken today. And as you breathe in, See if you can think of that one joyful thing, that just small little thing that makes you joyful and happy. And bring a smile to your face as you inhale, thinking of that thing. And then exhaling, releasing any tension or tightness and just finding a nice, comfortable, relaxed body. And then floating your arms down by your sides and bending your legs, placing the soles of your feet on the mat and just gently rock the knees from side to side. And just allow your breath to flow naturally. And you can move your knees from side to side at any pace that you'd like. You can go very slowly or move a little faster, whatever feels right. And then notice how your body is feeling as we begin. So scan from head down to the toes and just do it quickly. Just noticing is there tension in your forehead, in your facial muscles, in your neck, in your chest, in your hips. Are you gripping or holding? Are your hands relaxed or are you gripping or holding there? And then bring your knees to stillness and know that we're not judging ourselves. We're just noticing. We're just looking to see how we feel. Send your right leg out long and draw your left knee in towards your chest. And just gently bring the knee in on each exhalation. Just draw it in a little closer. Relaxing your shoulders. Now bring the knee out wide towards your left shoulder. Rotate that left foot around. So just warming up the ankle joint. And then return that knee to center. Just bring the sole of the left foot to the mat. Bring the right foot up to meet the left foot. And then we'll take the left ankle on top of the right thigh. We'll lift the right foot off the mat and reach behind the right thigh, clasp behind the right thigh. And just draw that right knee in towards your chest to open up the left hip a little bit. So on your exhalations, just bring that right knee in a little closer and try to have that right thigh do much of the work so that you're not pulling with your arms and your hands pulling that thigh. You're, allow, you're kind of making the thigh do the work. Relax your facial muscles, relax your shoulders. 
Keep the breath flowing. And then release that right foot to the mat and uncross the left foot. Send the left leg out long and draw the right knee in towards your chest. Just clasp in front of your right shin and on your exhalations, just draw your right knee in a little closer towards your chest. So even in this stillness, just relaxing into this stillness can feel really good to us. We're just stopping our day and just taking some time to nurture our bodies, nurture our minds and spirits. Bring your right knee out wide towards your right shoulder and begin to rotate your right ankle around just warming up that ankle joint. You can press the back of the left leg into the mat just to stabilize yourself. And keep the breath flowing, relax the facial muscles. And then bring that right knee to center, place the right foot on the mat, bring the left foot up to meet, and we'll take the right ankle on top of the left ankle, on top of the left thigh. Lift that left foot off the mat, clasping behind the left thigh this time, and just draw the left thigh in towards the chest on your exhales to open up the right and allow that left thigh to do more of the work. So rather than pulling with your arms and your hands. Just relax into the stillness, into the quiet and enjoy. Replace the left foot on the mat, uncross the ankles, and bring the knees in towards the chest, placing your hands on your kneecaps. Inhale as you push your knees away, and then exhale, squeeze your knees in towards your chest. <sighs> Inhale your knees away, exhale, squeeze towards your chest. So this is very good for our digestion. Push the knees away as you inhale, exhale, squeeze the knees towards your chest. And just continue with this gentle rocking motion using your breath. Relaxing your facial muscles, your forehead, your cheeks, your jaw. and allow your breath to help you move with ease. And then as you're ready, place the soles of your feet on the mat, walk your heels up close to your bottom, perhaps grazing your fingertips with your heels, your arms are down by your sides. And then we'll just come into a nice, easy bridge. So on your next inhalation, just press into the soles of your feet and the backs of your arms as you lift your hips towards the sky. And we'll hold for a moment. Just take a breath and bridge. And perhaps take another breath. Press into the soles of your feet for lift. And on this third inhalation, inhale, and as you exhale, lower your hips down to your mat, 
slowly. And once you arrive on your mat, back body on the mat, just take another deep breath in through your mouth. I mean, through your nose and out through your mouth. And then on your next inhalation, lift the hips up towards the sky again and pause. Press into the soles of your feet. Press into the backs of your shoulders, the backs of your arms. Squeeze your glutes a little bit. And just pause and bridge. And then exhale slowly as you lower your hips down, back to the mat. Bring your knees in towards your chest and rock from side to side. And then gently replace the soles of your feet on the mat. Cross the right knee, stack it on top of the left as if you're wearing a skirt, crossing your legs. And then just shift your hips an inch or two towards the right as you allow your knees to gently fall to the left. And if your neck allows, look away from your knees and just find joy and comfort in the stillness. So allow your body to release and relax into your mat, fully supported by the earth. And allow yourself to com completely release Check in with your breath. Allow it to flow freely. And if you'd like, you can even take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Inhale your knees back up to center as you uncross. And then take the left knee on top of the right. Shift your hips an inch or two towards the left and allow your knees to fall to the right this time. And if your neck allows, look away from your knees and just relax and release. And then inhale your knees back up to center as you uncross them. So we'll come up to seated our favorite way. If you'd like to bring your knees in towards your chest and clasp behind your thighs and begin to rock up, you can do that. Or you can turn to your side and push yourself up. Almost rocked into the couch because <laughs> I have my mat in a different place. <laughs> right, so a nice easy pose here. So legs crossed, sitting up nice and tall. And we'll inhale as we gaze up and stretch the fingertips up towards the sky. So breathe in joy and exhale as you twist to the right and bring your hands down to the mat sitting up nice and tall, and then inhale to center, stretch through your fingertips, exhale and twist left. 
as you bring your hands down. Inhale to center. And when we twist this time, twist, see if you can twist just a little bit further so that you're looking out towards the back of the room. And then inhale to center, twisting just a little bit more as we exhale left, bringing our hands down. So we're just moving incrementally, just a little bit more each time. Inhale to center, really stretch through your fingertips. Exhale and twist a little bit more as you bring your hands down. Perhaps even looking out over your back right shoulder. And then inhale to center. Exhale left. Perhaps looking out over your back left shoulder. And you can use the front hand or the front arm to push against the left thigh to help you twist a little deeper. And then gently inhale to center. And we'll cross our arms with the left arm on top of the right and just place our hands on our kneecaps. And we'll just inhale joy as we gaze up and exhale round our back, chin to chest as we rock back. Inhale, think of that joyful thing Exhale, rock back, chin to chest. One more time. Inhale as you gaze up. And exhale as you rock back. And come to neutral. And then just change the cross of your arms. And actually, we can change the cross of our legs too. And as you're ready, inhale, joy, you could even smile as you gaze up. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest. And we'll do this two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And then come to neutral. And so we'll try a little balance. Um, we've done boat pose before. So turning so that the legs come down the long side of the mat and we'll just sit up nice and tall. And then we'll bring our soles of our feet to the mat. So bending our legs, clasping behind the thighs. And then we'll just rock back a little bit and see if we can find our balance. And so notice if your shoulders are relaxed, so relax your shoulders. And so you can stay just like this, or you can try extending your legs for boat. Keep the breath flowing. Just a little balance. And then bring the feet back to the mat. And then we'll come into Baddha Konasana. So that's the soles of our feet um, press together and we sit up nice and tall. So you can either stay just like this and you can interlace your fingers and place them on your toes and just bring the spine nice and tall, a long spine. And if you'd like, you can try um, a balancing bound angle. <laughs> So um, I think it's a little easier for me to hold my ankles rather than my feet on this, but so you can try to find your balance. So press the soles of your feet together and see if you can bring them off the mat. A little bit of a challenge, different feeling. So balancing bound angle. And I guess you can put your hands on your toes like you do in the seated bound angle. That works. And then release gently to your mat. And then we'll extend our legs out long and flex our feet. 
sit up nice and tall, lift the heart center, and then inhale joy. You can spread your fingers wide and then exhale and fold forward, leading with your chin and your chest and just come down as far as is comfortable. And we'll just be still here for a few moments. Enjoy the stretch. And if this is too much, you can bend your knees a little bit. And then we'll slowly come back up to seated, sitting up nice and tall. And then inhale the arms up, stretch through your fingertips, and we'll come forward again, leading with our chin and our chest. And then inhale back to seated. And then we'll come to our table. So make your way to table. And so you know we have our wrists underneath our shoulders and our knees underneath our hips. And let's come to a nice balance. So we'll send our right leg out long, flexing our foot. Send our left fingertips forward, stretching out through the fingertips and out through the heel. And just balance, find stillness. And press away from the floor with the right hand. Very good for our core. Release the hand and the knee to the mat, and we'll take it to the other side. So flex the left foot as you send it back and reach through the right fingertips. Press away from the mat with the left hand. Keep the breath flowing. Strengthening our core. Release hand and knee back to the mat. And we'll come into a side gate. So we'll bring the left hand towards the middle of the mat, pivot the left foot off the mat as we send the right leg out long, press the sole of the right foot into the mat, and then inhale that right arm, fingertips towards the sky, gazing at your right thumb if your neck allows. Feel the strength in the pose. And if you'd like to try to balance, lift the right foot off the mat. And then replace the foot. If you took it off the mat, bring it back to the mat. Bring the right hand down to the mat. And then we're going to walk ourselves around like a rainbow motion on our floor to the other side. So we're facing the other way so we can face the camera or our computer. Bring your right hand to the middle of the mat. Take the right foot off the mat. Send the left leg out long. So we want our right wrist to be under our shoulder. And then inhale the left hand, fingertips towards the sky as you gaze up at your thumb, if your neck allows. If not, just look forward. And if you'd like to come into a balance, you can lift that left foot off the mat. Or you can keep the left foot on the mat, either way. And then replace the foot on the mat. And we're going to come onto our knees facing our camera. And, you know, so up on our knees. So we're going to do breath of joy on our knees. And so the way we do it is we, it's a little quick motion. So I'll demonstrate 
the first time. So what we do is we lift our hands and we breathe in quickly through our nose. We, we go like a quick motion. Then we bring our arms out and we do another quick inhalation. And then we bring our arms to the center with another inhalation. And then we exhale and we fold forward and we go as we bring our forehead to the mat. So I guess I'll show you what it looks like if you're able to, hopefully you're able to see me. If not, just kind of do the best you can. So we'll go. <sighs> so it feels kind of good. All right, so on a one and a two and a three. So inhale, 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 exhale, ha. <sighs> so coming back up. So we'll inhale to center, out to the side, inhale, inhale to the center. So center, out with the arms, into the center, and then down, ha. And then we'll come up again. <laughs> it's giving us some nice fresh oxygen, that's for sure. And we'll do that one time, one more time. So we inhale to center, out with the arms, into the center, and then fold forward, ha. So that gets your blood, blood pumping a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to come to our table again and we'll make our way to plank. So spread your fingers nice and wide on your mat, come up onto your toes. So curl your toes and come onto your toes and just press into your heels, press into the mat, squeeze your glutes and your abs and just hold it. If, if this is not comfortable, you can be on your knees like this with a nice long spine. And that works very nicely too. So hanging out in plank and um, the next move we'll make is coming into down dog. So whenever you're ready, you can make your way up to down dog. And you can walk your dog if you'd like by alternate, alternating bending your knees. And then when you come into your dog, when you come to stillness and dog, just press into the back of your calves, back of your thighs, engage your core and press into the back of all 10 knuckles and just find stillness for a moment. Think of that thing that brings you joy. I'm sure there are many things, but. And then we're going to walk our hands. I mean, walk our feet towards our hands. And we're going to roll up slowly to Tadasana. And so rock from side to side. You're all very familiar with Tadasana. So find all four corners of each foot. Lift up through your instep, through your kneecaps, through your thighs. Engage, engage your core. Bring your shoulders up, back and down as you allow your hands to dangle, your arms to dangle with your palms facing forward. And perhaps close your eyes so your chin is parallel to the earth and you're extending through your crown. And just close your eyes and feel the strength of the pose. Notice the stillness in the body. and flutter your eyes open. And we're going to come to just a little pose, a little balancing pose here. So we'll practice tree. So we'll bring the weight of the body onto the right leg. And you can just rest the left heel on your ankle if you'd like. It's a nice tree. You could bring your foot up to your calf if you'd like. You can bring your foot to your inner calf or I rest mine on the front of my calf. And just find your drishti. 
Stand up nice and tall, extending through your crown. And just practice a little balance. And just remember not every day is a good balance day. Sometimes we just aren't feeling it. Woo, like I'm falling out of it. <laughs> but that's okay. So if you look at something that's not moving for your focus, that helps. And come out as you're ready. My foot's all tangled in my wire. <laughs> okay, and then when you're ready, just bring the weight of your body onto the left leg. And whatever you did on the other side, try on this side. So if you're resting your heel on your ankle, that's nice. Or if you're resting your foot on your calf, that's good. If you want to bring your foot up to your thigh, you can try that. And you can do whatever you'd like with your hands, like if you'd want to bring them into prayer, or if you want to bring your hands up overhead, the branches, they can blow in the wind if you want. Woo! I don't know if today is a great balance day for me, but that's okay. And then slowly come down and pat yourself on the back. We're doing a little balance. We'll come into chair. So I'll turn sideways for you. So our feet are about hip width apart, standing up nice and tall. Inhale your arms up, stretch through your fingertips as you gaze up at the fingertips. Rotate your torso forward an inch or two, and then bend your knees as if you were going to place your bottom in a chair. So the elbow creases are up near your ears or as best you can. You can bring your hands to prayer in front of your chest. And if you'd like, take the left elbow to the right knee as you twist the side. Just be still for a moment. And then inhale to center and bring the right elbow to the left knee as you twist to the other side. Keep the breath flowing so we don't want to hold our breath. And then we'll twist to center. Our knees are bent. We'll hold on to our elbows as we allow our head to dangle forward and just move the hips and the shoulders and the head from side to side, just swaying from side to side and ragdoll. And then come to stillness in the center and slowly roll up. Allow your head to be the last thing that comes up. And then we're going to come to a crescent lunge. So we'll step the left foot forward. Toes are pointing towards the short end of the mat. We'll come on to the back toes. And then we'll inhale the arms up. So the elbow creases are near the ears and exhale as we bend the front knee. The back leg is straight. We're on our toes of the back leg and we wanna tuck the tailbone a little bit, engage the core, spread the fingers wide. You can even look, gaze up if you'd like. A little bit of a balance. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Bring your hands to prayer and then step the back foot forward. And then we'll turn and we'll do it to the other side. So we'll send the right foot forward, the back foot back or the left foot back, sorry. Come up onto the left toes, 
Find a nice comfortable stance. Inhale the arms up. Exhale and bend the front knee. So back leg is straight. We're on the toes of the back foot. You can gaze up if you'd like. Front knee is bent. A little bit of a balance. Bring your hands to prayer. Step the back foot forward. And then we'll come to the center of our mat. And we'll inhale our arms up. And then turn the palms away and just float the arms down. So we're going to come to breath of joy again, but this time we'll be standing. So same, same way we did it on our knees. So we'll inhale the arms up. So we inhale through our nose and then we'll inhale the arms out as if you were a conductor. And then inhale the arms back up to center and actually spread the feet wide. And then we'll come to the middle um, between our legs as we say, ha, as we fold forward and really say it because it feels good. <laughs> and so then we'll come back up. So now we'll, we'll actually do it. Okay, ready? So inhale to center, out to the sides, inhale to center, ha, inhale to center, out to the sides, inhale to center, ha, so through our legs. And we'll do it one more time. Ready, make this your best one. Inhale to center, out to the sides. Inhale to center, ha! Ah, oh, that feels good. <laughs> okay, so we'll bring ourselves down to our knees and we're just going to come onto our belly for a moment and rest in crocodile. So stack the forearms, one on top of the other. Spread the feet wide on your mat with your toes pointing to um, each corner of the mat and rest your forehead down on your mat, on your, rest your forehead down on your forearms. And just allow your breath to return to its natural state. Notice the belly pressing into the mat on your inhale and softening on your exhale. So this is good for your diaphragm, strengthens your diaphragm. And this is also very calming. So we're just gonna relax and come to stillness and be calm here for a few moments before we come to our Shavasana. And in your own time, as you're ready, you can make your way to Shavasana. Just take your time. There's no rush. Once you arrive in your Shavasana, just take a nice big cleansing breath in through your nose and out through your mouth as you completely relax and find a comfortable Shavasana. And just begin to watch your breath. Just be an observer of your breath. Allow your breath to move in a nice rhythm no need for you to do anything but to just observe. 
your breath, your body knows how to breathe. I invite you to stay just as you are, relaxed in Shavasana. I'm just going to ring my bowl. I invite you to bring your hands to your heart center or stay just as you are. May you find joy in the stillness. May you find joy in small moments. Namaste.